Welcome to my channel and here we are going to uh, be working on this uh, problem and as you can see on the screen that the sketch in figure 1 shows the intersection of two unequal prisms at right angle and here we are asked to draw full size in first angle orthograph projection the complete front elevation that is question A question B the plan question C left end elevation at question D development of part a using xx as seen okay so uh, everything about what we have read is talking about this uh, figure that we have here and then for the dimensions that we have here we have the distance from year to year is 80 millimeters that is for this uh, particular part and then distance across our corners for this part is 50 millimeters as you can see here and then we have the distance from year to year is 25 and then from year to year is 20 for this and then distance across corners for this prism is uh, 30 as you can see on the screen um, when you have distance across corners as stated here we are talking about the hexagonal uh, prism so this is hexagonal prism and this is also an hexagonal prism okay so let's go and answer the question we are going to have um, I'm looking at it that we should have a video or uh, we are going to combine question A and B together then uh, we have a free video for question C and D. So let's see how it goes. Let's start. Now, the first thing that we need to do here is that we are going to draw a horizontal center line. So we draw horizontal center line in this direction. So horizontal center line in this direction. Okay. So let me also extend it towards this side. Alright, so then we are going to draw a vertical center line. So we draw a vertical center line. Okay, so if you look at the prisms, so one is line on the horizontal and the other is uh, is on the vertical part side. Okay, so we need to uh, make lines like this. Okay, now having drawn this, the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, take a measurement so I will take a measurement for the horizontal uh, prism so I will take a measurement of 40 millimeters to the left side and then 40 millimeters to the right side so that is 80 millimeters so at this point so I'm going to uh, draw a vertical line so here I will draw a vertical line uh, down here and also here I will draw a vertical line okay so for the 40 millimeters that we have taken uh, to both sides then the next thing i'm going to do is that i need to construct a hexagon on this side and that hexagon i'm not going to make it to be a whole hexagon i'm just going to take a draw half of the hexagon you are going to see the way i'm going to do it so what i want to use that for is to get the front elevation of that horizontal hexagonal prism drawn here uh, as we have here so just look at the way i'm going to do it so i need to uh, move away a little bit i will move away a little bit so this is okay then i'm going to draw uh, a vertical center line here okay all right so then as we have that the distance across corners for the horizontal prism is 50 so we take 50 we take 25 so we divide 50 by 2 so that will give us 25 so we take that 25 so 25 millimeters so we put the pinpoint here so and i'm going to just draw a semicircle that is what i need so i'll just draw a semicircle like this so make a semicircle like this all right so then I'm going to um, be uh, put a big point on my compass here. So here I will make an arc. Then I will also put it at this point. Here I will make an arc. Okay. So I want to make use of these three sides. So by the time I join this point together, so if I join this point together, so joining this point together with this, then I will join this point together. So join this point.
point together then I will join so this point I will join them together like this okay so I have half of the hexagon so this is okay okay so I'm going to number this point so I'm going to call this point so this point here I'm going to call it point um, so point uh, one and this is two so I will also call this point I will call it two and this point here will also be one all right so uh, let's take note of that next thing I'm going to do is that to draw the uh, front elevation of the uh, horizontal prism so it goes like this so I need to draw uh, coming to this point here so I will draw horizontal line so draw horizontal line here and then so from this point also I will draw horizontal line like this and then from this point so I will draw horizontal line okay then from this point I will draw horizontal line like this all right so uh then so let's go and produce the front elevation of the vertical prism so i think i need to extend this line this center line a little bit so it goes up a little then i will come up uh, a little bit come up a little bit here i will draw so horizontal center line okay so then i'm going to draw a semicircle of radius 15 so as we have the distance across corner for the vertical prism is 30 so half of 30 is 15 so i will take 15 uh, millimeters all right so we take a measurement of 15 millimeters which is half of the distance across corners that we are given which is 30 so we take half of it and we draw a semicircle so like this Okay, so having drawn this semicircle, so with the same radius, so we put the midpoint of our compass at this point, so you make an arc here. So put it at this point, and here you make an arc. Okay, so then we are going to join this point together. So we join this point together to produce half of the six uh, sides of the hexagon that we are supposed to have. We just produce three. Okay. All right. So then we draw this. Okay. So that's it. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to uh, let's number this point. So if we number this point here, we have what we have one. So this is two, two, one. Then, so we are going to draw a vertical line from this point. So we draw a vertical line from this point. And then, so we also draw a vertical line from this point. Okay, that's from point two. So we also draw from here. So from point two again, and we draw from point one. All right. So, looking at what we have here, as we are told that the height, so the height of the uh, vertical prism is 20. So, we are going to take a measurement of 20 millimeters. So, from this point, take 20 millimeters up. So, this is 20 millimeters. So, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So, at this point, so we have this horizontal line. Now, so as the question says, question A says that we should draw the complete front elevation complete front elevation is that we have to draw the line of intersection if you look at what we have done here so this is line one so line one line one here line one here they intersect at this point they intersect at this point and also at this point then line two this is line two so this line two uh intersect this line two at this point and this also intersect this at this point so that is what we have for the complete front elevation so all i need to do is to join this point together and also i will join so this point together so this is point two and point two and also this point i will join them 
together like this. All right, so then, so this line has to be a thick line, okay? Then, so this line, so from here to here is a thick line, and then from here to here is also a thick line. So this line here will be a thick line, okay? So, and then, so this will also be a thick line and then so we also make this a thick line okay so this line i must make it a thick line because this is corner is also a corner so we also make this line a thick line like this so and then this line also should be drawn thick so this line is also a thick line from here to here so then i need to make this line a thick line it must be feasible this line is also a thick line so for the corners okay so this is also a thick line and this is also a thick line all right so this is question a so this is how question a should be answered so um so let's have a video for question b which is the plan so let's have separate video so that you will be the the, the work will not be too uh, cumbersome. Uh, thank you. Let's meet on question B.